Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 9. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet prob, prop, per, pers, probability, uh, proportion, probability, percent. Um, I want to redo kind of what we did last time with our count F and cell references, not only to remind us and see another example, but then we want to talk about it in the context of uh, some formatting and some terminology we're going to use. All right, so our last video we had these three, a list of unique values from this column, and we wanted to count. So we used the count if function equals count if. The range, well, it's going to be this whole range, so I click in the top cell, not including the field name. Control shift down arrow to jump down to the bottom, and then I'm going to hit the F4 key. The cool thing about that F4 is it not only uh, locks the cell references, which we need when we copy this formula down, but it jumps the screen back in view. Comma, our screen tip is polite, and our criteria, one cell to the left, a relative cell reference. Close parentheses, control enter. Now, I don't want to double click this. We learned how to do that last time, because I don't want it to go all the way down to the bottom, and it will, because there's stuff to the left. You can even prove it to yourself. Boop. We don't want that. That time I might just. Now I want to come here and add this up. Now this is a count, and if these categories are exhaustive, which means this is a, a complete list of each item listed once from this column, when we add these frequency, these counts up, these are count, or the, the word we use in statistics is frequency. If we add them up, we'll get an exact count of all the items. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut for auto sum. The sum function keyboard shortcut is Alt equals. It guessed right. You always want to make sure it's guessing. The dancing ants are going around the correct cells. Enter. Now I want to compare each one of these parts. Remember, this is in a complete list or an, an exhaustive categorical list from here. So each one of these make up the parts. And I want to compare the part to the whole. 17 divided by 59, 23 divided by 59, 19 divided by 59. So I'm going to do a formula. Equals one cell to my left divided by D5. Now, if this formula is one cell to my left divided by D5, what do I got to do? Hit the F4 key. But remember that the cursor has to be touching some part of the cell reference that you want locked. If it's here, it won't work because it'll lock that one. All right. By default, when you put a cell reference in, it's automatically touching, so then you just hit F4. All right. Now, I'm going to copy this down. Oh, look, it's pre-formatted. You got to be careful of that. It shows 29%. As soon as I see a percentage with no decimals showing, I, I get weary. So I'm going to increase some decimals. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff there. All right, so you decide, or if there's a homework problem or a test, it'll it tells you in general on probabilities. We don't need to worry so much. I'm going to show that many. Now I'm going to double click and send it down because I want it to go all the way down, even to the total. Can anyone guess what this percentage right here has to be? This formula is one cell to my left divided by D5. It better be 100%. Oh, look at that. That's new in 2010. It stopped because it sees a sum there. In earlier versions, it didn't stop. It went down. So, oh, too bad. I'm going to drag it down one more. 100%, right? If you have all of the parts, all of the parts, and you compare them to all the parts, you're going to get 100%. Now, in Chapter 2, this will be called a frequency table. This will be called percent frequency. I always think of, you know, from basic basic math, comparing the parts to the whole, but this is the percent frequency. We can say 28% of the Fords, uh, of the cars sold were Fords. 38% Toyota, 32% Honda. So in chapter two, we'll call this percent uh, frequency. There are other terms we can use, and sometimes they are synonyms and interchangeable. Sometimes they're not. So percent frequency. Again, 32 last quarter or whatever this was, we 32% uh, of the cars were Hondas. But we could uh, use the word proportion. The proportion of autos we sold last quarter that were Hondas, right? 
32.2. Now I'm going to do the same calculation again, and this, this column is not formatted. All right? One, two, three cells to my left, divided by D5, and I hit the F4 key. Control Enter. Now I'm going to double click and send this down. It won't double click because there's nothing to the left, so I'm simply going to click and drag. All right, so this is just a different way to look at it, and sometimes in our books we will see uh, percentages, sometimes we'll see uh, proportions. In general, once you get to some written statement, uh, people tend to format it. I mean, that's why the percentage format was invented, to uh, give it a, this is a symbolic representation of these numbers right here. Proportions. Notice percent frequency and proportion are looking backwards. We said, hey, last quarter or whatever this was, 32.2% were Hondas, right? Uh, 0 0 0.322 uh, of the auto sold were Hondas, if we used a, a proportion here. Now let's talk about probability. We could use the same calculation, but let's think about that word. Probability, let's say, the probability that some event will occur is, well, guess what? That wasn't looking backwards, that was looking forward, right? The probability that some event will occur is looking forward, right? So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to actually use, this is past data, right? So anytime you use past data like this to, to estimate or predict what you think will happen in the future, that's actually called inferential statistics. But probability is usually the word you use, right? Let's do the same calculation, though, using past data. So the same exact calculation. This one is 1, 2, 3, 4 cells to my left divided by D5. I can double click here. All right, so if we're using this, uh, this same number as this, uh, but we're going to say something like, hey, for any given sale, the probability that we'll sell a Honda is 0.322. And people do this all the time. Pass data using it as a probability to predict the future. Now, um, probabilities, just like proportions, can show up as decimals or percentages. And finally, we'll do the same calculation again. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 cells. Am I counting right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh. Five, five cells to the left divided by D5, and I'm going to hit that F4 key. All right, I'm going to double click and send it down, and I'm going to click, ooh, not that one right there. I'm going to come up here and show two decimals. Now, what do I do if I want to show more than two decimals? Control 1 is our keyboard shortcut for percentage. And then I'm going to come over here. Maybe I want to show something like that. Hey, what does that mean? That actually is a railroad track that they put up. No, no, it's a fence they put up that says you can't see this. And all it means is, hey, please make the column wider. Actually, another thing, what it really means is you're squishing me. Give me some more room. So you can come up here and click and drag back and forth on the column between the I and the J. Or you can double click and it will best fit whatever the biggest thing is in the column. One last thing. All of these were asking the question, uh, Ford compared to the total, right? Toyota compared to the total. But what if you ask something like, what's the percent, uh, looking in the past, what, what percent, give me the percent that is Ford or Toyota? Now, we'll formally talk about this in chapters 4 and 5, or and and uh, logic and criteria. but. Uh, I just want to point this out here. These are mutually exclusive categories. <laughs> what does mutually exclusive mean? It means there's only you're only dating one person, right? You're mutually exclusive. It means when we go through this list, Toyota can only fit into this category here. There, there's no car here that can fit into both Ford and Toyota. So mutually exclusive. Because these are mutually exclusive, when you ask an or question, what's the percent or probability or proportion that you had a Ford or a Toyota, all you have to do is add. You can add Ford and Toyota. I'm simply going to do a sum function and then add these two. If you wanted to do it a little bit more fancy way, like you didn't already have these calculations, you go equals sum. 
oh yeah, and you'd add these two. Close parentheses and then divide by the total. All right, um, so that's chapter 00, our first weeks of this class. A lot about Excel. We'll spend the rest of the quarter doing uh, most of the chapters up through 14. Lots of statistics, lots of Excel. All right, see you next chapter.